What's up guys, this is Alex Louie, Introduction to C++. What I'm going to show you today is how to reverse an array. And this is a second lesson that builds upon our lesson previously on how to swap elements in an array. So if you haven't seen that one already, please take a look at that lesson first because that will teach you how to swap elements within an array. Because that's what we're going to use to reverse the values in an array. So suppose that you have the following array where you have five elements going from 0 to 4 and you have the values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and you want the resulting array to actually say 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So that 50 starts at the 0th element, 40 at the first, 30 and then 20 and 10. So last time that we looked at this array, I had you guys swap the first and last elements with each other. We're going to build upon that problem except that now we're going to do the same thing and swap not only the first and last but then we're going to move the swap by one and decrement the swap on the end by one. So what we want to do is we actually want to swap the first and last element as you see here and then we want to continue swapping by moving the first one up the last one down so that we can swap 20 and 40 so then you would have 50 40 30 20 and 10 and how do we do this well first we would have a first pointer that will point to the first element and then we'd have a last pointer that points to the last element and what we're gonna do is we're gonna increment this by one every time we're done swapping and we're gonna decrement this by one when we're done swapping so if you look at the code, a little bit of code snippet here to swap elements is very easy we were able to do this using our variables with a variable temp correct so if we look at that we declare a temp variable we store 10 in temp and now we can write over whatever is an element 0 with element 4 so that we can say uh, element of 0 is equal to whatever is in 4 and then we copy back temp into element 4 so that's gonna look like that look like that so now we've swapped the first and last and we want to continue doing this for the next element right up until we reach the middle right because we don't want to keep swapping if we keep going and first passes the middle then we're gonna all our swaps are gonna just ruin the whole process so what you want to do is you want to go and loop until these two either meet each other or your first meets up to the last so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna increment first by one and we're gonna decrement last by one so that we move our arrows over one and this one under one and we'll, we'll do the same thing that we did here we'll just swap these together okay so we swap again but this time we're actually gonna store our temp variable uh, as 20 okay because we don't longer want to do we don't wanna longer want to hold on to whatever was in zero the, these two on the end are done so as you saw here we've incremented first we decremented last by one and now we want to now store whatever is in element one in temp and then once we have that in temp then we go along the same routine that we did before by swapping we put 20 over in element three or index 3 and uh, we can copy over the element index 3 into index 1 okay because we got it first we save temp so we have a copy of whatever is in 1 we're gonna write over what is in element 1 such as like that right we do that right uh, and then we write over whatever is in element 3 with 20. So if you look at that, we made a copy of index 1 in temp 
then after we made a copy of index 1 we put 40 into index 1 okay and then now we we copy whatever was in temp into index 3 which is what you see on the left hand side uh, with the temp variable okay then we gotta move our first and last pointer over but now the point where they meet each other is when we're gonna stop okay this is where we're gonna stop so the condition if we're gonna do this in C++ is that we never want to get to the point where first and last meet because if we get to that point there's no sense in swapping anymore everything else has been swapped so what you want to do is you want to say while your first is less than last in terms of indexes we want to swap otherwise we just break out of the loop and this would be your array in reverse 50 40 30 20 10 okay as we see here okay so let's take a look and the code okay so we take a look at the code we are going to ask the person to enter a couple numbers our array is going to be of size 5 from 0 to 4 okay from 0 to 4 and then I'm gonna print out the array before the reversal I'm gonna have a pause there so you can take a look and then here is the meat of the whole thing okay here is the meat of the whole thing so what I wanna do is I wanna assign first to the zeroth index and I wanna assign last to the last index which is gonna be size minus 1 always do minus 1 because we we only go we started zero okay so while first is less than last meaning that while our our first value of index is less than the last index if we take a look okay if we take a look here we want to always loop while first is less than last so if this is less than last, in which in this case it was, even if we start at the beginning, okay. While so is zero less than four? Yes. So we want to swap, okay. When we get to the next iteration, is two less than is one less than three? Yes. We want to swap. And then is two less than two? No. So we're not going to swap anything. Okay, so this is the condition. And we just do something repetitive so that while first is less than last, our first index is going to be our temp. Then we're going to overwrite whatever is in the first index, which initially is zero, with last. And then we overwrite last with temp. And this is where we're increasing and moving our arrows first and decreasing moving our arrows last so if we take a look up here see how the arrows are moving so first starts at zero then we go to one and finally we stop right because uh, eventually it's going to get to a point where first is not going to be less than last so we break out so let's take a look let's run this real quick so if I enter 10 20 30, 40, and 50. Okay, you see my reversal. My my array before reversal is going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, I'll just press C to continue. And then we reverse the array and do 50, 40, 30, which is what we're doing here. Now, this will work in any situation. So, in terms of the size of the array. So, let's say my array size uh, was, we'll do a big array, we'll do 10 okay let's say let's say it was 10 the array size was 10 and it should reverse it because uh, we are going to go up to the size which is 10 right but you really get to 9 because you're 0 to 9 and here we are again we start at 0 and we're gonna end at 9 and we're just gonna move our arrows one going down one going up okay so let's take a look so if we take a look here, I've prompted myself to enter 10 numbers, and I'm going to go from 10 to 100, increasing 1 by 10. Now, mind you, I didn't make any changes except change the size to 10, 
I changed it from five to 10. I didn't make any code changes. I haven't made any code changes, okay? And this is the way it should be for most programs. You should, you should be able to just perhaps even edit one line or one or two lines and then everything should work if you wanna increase your array size. So if we take a look at this, this is our original array, 10, 20, 30, up to 100, okay? And now if we do a reversal, it reverses, so 190, 80, 70. Okay, so there's gonna be a point where the arrows are gonna move and they're gonna eventually gonna meet up. And that all, this while loop condition is gonna take care of that. And again, we're just doing this repetitively while swapping. Okay, we're gonna do this repetitively while swapping. Okay, so a couple of things that we did. This is really the meat of the whole program. Okay, so if you're taking notes, this is the meat of the whole program because this is that what the piece of code that reverses everything. Let me actually do this. This reverses everything. Everything I've done before is just reading values in and printing them out and everything after I'm just gonna print out the array. This is the meat of the whole program. This is what moves the first and last pointer indexes and these first three lines here, 29 to 31, are the ones that we do when we swap. That's the swapping. Okay, once we were le learned how to swap, then the only thing we have to figure out is how do we iterate through the array. So we kind of have to do two loop, two iter iterators, one forward, one backward. Okay, I hope you learned a bit more about arrays. Uh, next couple of video lectures will be about sorting. And, and one thing you should remember is please understand swapping and this lesson first before you go into the sorting video because now we really get into heavy duty swapping and as well as inner loops okay if you have any questions you could always email me at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com or you can visit me at www.parttimeadjunct.com thanks and happy programming